Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video and in this video I am showing you how you can move the columns and convert the columns to list so that you can basically get the desired operation in terms of if you want to reorder the columns and uh, get the desired output also converting the let's say you have ship mode or the customer names and you know any of these values for which you want to convert into a list let's say for creation of unique values many times that scenario is there to to convert it so how you can do it very easily you know achieve it uh, without much of an issue so that is something which i will show you and uh, before that just a quick information about uh, if you have landed very first time on my channel then this is my data set folder with for which usually i give the link where you will land over here Within the dataset folder, I have Power BI, where this dataset, the the Power BI Superstore dataset is something what I'm using currently, right? And also about this Google Sheet, where I keep all of my videos. The video title is present here, and you can see uh, more than 280 videos are right now present. So it is very easy for you to search any of my previously created videos related to visualization, dashboard, case study, whatever I've created is present here. And the link of the video is present here that way you can jump onto that video also now i've started maintaining tower topic category and the difficulty level in case you want to go from beginner to intermediate to advanced level so that is also present here so that is something to help you uh, fully utilize the output from my videos and get the desired output so make sure you bookmark it and uh, get get as much benefit as possible okay so with that let me come back to the power query so first thing first, moving the column, which is quite easy. There are two ways in which you can do the column. For example, I want ship mode as a first column. So I will simply drag it toward the, you know, right, uh, sorry, the left. And that way you, it will do the processing and, and uh, put it here. But what if, if I have a lot of columns and I move it into the end, dragging is not a useful idea, right? So in that case, you select the ship mode uh, and uh, you move it to end, right? That way it is coming in the end and then, you know, you can get the out. Same way I want, let's say product name as the first column. So to big name, right? Or I want order date before order ID. So move left. So all of these operations are now have now become very easy with the uh, moving the column because reordering of column is always something we want just so that, you know, it is as per our desired, uh, ordering uh, ordering or desired order okay once we have done that right uh, what do we want is convert to a list so what is the right way of doing it is something which i will show you so for example you have the product name and if you click on convert to list what it does is it, it basically converts the entire sheet into this list where you have only the unique product name but that is not what we want we want basically a unique list but we don't want to change this so in that case the way you need to do it right click on the sheet one make it duplicate and then you select it and then under transform menu click on convert to list and then that way you will then have a list information this is very helpful uh, in you know those tricky scenarios where uh, you all you want unique list as a separate list uh, not just as a part of the uh, the transactional data set, but uh, sim more like, you know, a separate list or a separate table, which then you can utilize as an output, let's say for some other requirement that you are having. So many times you, you will find that, that you need to sort of uh, uh, convert, create a list. Also, if you see, you have for the list, you have the transform menu, for example, uh, you you have the option of converting this list into a table. So you can select a delimiter, show the errors and create a table from a list of values. Something is, is present once it is created, right? So uh, over here, if you see, you have the option where you, you want to create a table and how to handle extra error, show error, truncate error or truncate extra column or accumulate into the last column. So I will simply say truncate and you click OK. It does nothing but it simply convert into a table. Nothing is happening as other than simply creating a table. That way a table is created which then can be used for joining or creating a model and stuff like that. So that is something very straightforward and easy 
uh, with the help of the features that are given and all of these steps are now present here. So this is for sheet one, this is for sheet two, you have the list with which you can move ahead and, and do your further processing of data. So that is what I wanted to show you how you can uh, create a list and move the columns which is easy to know or must know functionality for a beginner just so that not, not only you know you will see that one or the other day you will encounter it in your work but also as a features you should be aware that this is something you can utilize as part of the Power Query uh, of software presenting Power BI. With that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.